What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Ambitions Vape Up. So, today I have a review and a comparison. Today we're going to be reviewing the Kylan ATA by Vandy Vape, and we're going to be comparing it to the Amit Dual Coil ATA. All right? Let's take a look at it. So this was sent to me from Vandy Vape for the purpose of this review. Thank you very much. It will not change my opinion. So what we're going to do in this review, guys, we're going to dive down. I'm going to show you the Kylan ATA, show you the box, show you what it comes with. Basically review this. Then when I come back up top, I'm going to give you the pros and cons on this, and then I'll compare these at the very end. Okay? So uh, let's just go do that, man. And before we do that, let's have a vape on it. I have it in the extension mode on the Kylan. Um, wide open airflow. Uh, I got some dual alien coils in here on the VT250 by 8 cigar. Comes out to a 0 0.15, 110 watts. And I have my goon tip on top. Yes, you can go use goon tips with this. It's a vape. So without further ado, guys, let's dive down. And let's check out the Kylan ATA by Vandy Vape. This is the package that the Kylan ATA by Vandy Vape will come in. Contains nicotine. That's just for regulation purposes. Okay. VandyVape.com. QR code. This comes in stainless steel in black. You can do three ml, 2 mLs or 6 mLs of e-liquid. All right. You're going to open it up. Gonna get your Kylan ATA. So you're gonna get for that an additional two ml and a six ml glass piece. Okay. Inside you'll get some O-rings, a 510 adapter, and some gold-plated Allen key grub screws. You get eight of them. You get an Allen key extender to make it a six ml tank. Drip tip number one. Drip tip number two. Goon. Fat bass. And that's drip tip number three. It says Kylan on it. All right. Vandy Vapes on the back logo. On the bottom, it says Kylan. Stainless steel serial number. Protruding 510 pin and peak insulator that comes up above the ground threads. So this is hybrid, definitely hybrid safe. Okay, S Stefan Z is the designer with Vandy Vape. Okay, it says Vandy Vape up top, and you could take this drip tip out. It's in there good, but you could definitely get it out compared to the Amit. We're going to compare it to the Amit after I review it. Okay, that's the other drip tip. The way I've been rocking it is with this one, there's an O ring in there. Okay, you pop that in there, and that's how I've been rocking it. Okay, goon, it's a goon tip. So it's 48 millimeters in height with the 6 ml, and it's 36 millimeters in height, like this. It's 24 millimeters in diameter, and then it goes up to 26 millimeters, and it holds 2 mls or 6 mls. The Amit which is here, holds 3 mLs and 6 mLs. So this holds an, an mL less. To fill it, you just unscrew that, and then you just fill. I don't mind this fill port at all. Clear O-rings, all right? And the airflow clicks. There's four clicks. One, two, three, well, there's three clicks. All right, whatever you do to that side, it will do it to the other side, okay? Good tolerance. All right, pops off, conical design. Also, we're going to be reviewing this from Coilmaster. Um, it's a wire brush to clean your coils. It's metal wire. And it can clean off your coils. Here's the deck. 
All right, it's the same as the Omit. I did a review on the Omit, so I'm not going to pull that apart. But the airflow is different. Okay, it's a gold-plated deck versus a silver-plated deck. See, that's going to get uh, beaten up from the chimney. Chimney's a little too tight on it. See that? It's kind of wearing on that side. It is what it is, but nice fill ports for your wicking. <clears throat> nice same post holes, very nice post holes. It just has a little bit smoother airflow as those are wide open. And on the bottom, you can't see the other side. See? Because it's they made it so it's individual. So they go in and up on their own channels. All right? So I'm going to re-wick this up. I'm going to show you how to wick it. And uh, I'm going to make it into a 6 ml capacity tank. Take the extension tube and you're just gonna blast that bad boy on there. You put that on, put that on. That should tighten up when it gets on there, but see how loose that is? I don't like that. It wants to pop right off, but we'll see. I'm gonna put that on. See, this likes to pop off. See? Now, this is what you don't want either. See this? See that? See how that loosened? You want that on tight. So that's the 6ml. So let's go back up top. Let's vape on both of these. I'll give you my final thoughts, pros and cons. I'll see you guys in a minute. So we're back from the close-up, guys, on the Kylan RTA. Well, I showed you how I wicked it down low. It's pretty much the same way how you wick it on the Amit, except the juice flow channels on this are definitely a little bit smaller than the Amit's. Now, some people could say that's a con, some people could like that. Some people could not. I don't really have any issues with wicking on these. As long as you did what I did down low. As long as you fully cover the whole holes on both of these down low. If there's a little bit of an opening and, and cotton's not covering it, it will leak. Okay? I've had this leak and I've had this leak. All right? But... When you have it fully cover those holes, okay, and you don't have it popping out of the holes, because when you turn the juice flow control to close it off, it could pull the cotton with it. Do you understand what I'm saying? So just make sure that that's not happening and you won't have any wicking issues. You won't have any leaking issues either, okay? And as long as I did it that and I wicked it correctly, I haven't had any leaking, any wicking issues, any spit back on either of these RTAs. For some reason, I like well. I, I I know why I like the Kylan RTA in the extension mode. 
because it only holds 2 ml of e-liquid when it's not in the extension mode. And that's just not enough e-liquid. The Ahmed holds 3 ml of e-liquid in the smaller mode. So I definitely like the Ahmed over the Kylan when it comes to that holding 3 and 6 versus 2 and 6. Okay? Machining is perfect on these. Okay? Um, the build deck on both of these. Now, when it comes to the build deck, I definitely like the Kylan RTA's build deck better. It's gold-plated. It looks nice. I like the airflow a little bit better on the Kylan as well. Because on the Amit, you can see directly through the airflow on the bottom. On the Kylan, you can't. Because they have a block directly in the middle so that you get individual airflow from both sides. Okay? It makes a little bit better airflow, a little bit more smoother, a little bit more swooshy. I definitely like that about the Kylan. I cannot get the Ultim Drip Tip out of the Amit. It's in there too snug. So this one was pretty much a lot easier to get out. So the Kylan's Drip Tips are definitely better than the Amit's. This also comes with three Drip Tips and a 510 adapter. This came with a Drip Tip and a 510 adapter. So definitely the Kylan wins it for Drip Tip options. They both use Goon Drip Tips, so they both get a pro for that. The machining is both great on these. The O-rings. Now, I've had some issues on the Kylan RTA with the O-rings. Uh, specifically, I haven't had any issues on the uh, Amit dual coil with the O-rings. On this one, when I went to make the extension, the glass kept popping off the O-ring. So, uh, that's a con, man. I mean, if you're going to go fill it, it, it was easily able to pop off. Um, I don't know why. I've heard Mike Vapes and other people say they didn't have that issue. I've had that issue. I don't know why. I try to clean the O-ring, clean the glass, make sure they both were dry. When I put it back on, it still pops off. So that's a little bit of a con um, because this doesn't have that metal piece. They both don't have the metal piece, but Geek Vape did come out with a metal piece to go above the glass to keep the glass intact. And then you can unscrew the top and you have like, you know, juice fill channels that's new okay i don't have it on this one but they did come out with the retail version that has that this one does not have that vanny vape i definitely recommend you to follow geek vape and put that channel up top because i did have issues when i put the extension on there the glass would pop off and on and i had to you know seal it down press it down and then luckily just fill it without touching the glass and it didn't do anything but if you touch that glass while you're filling it, it will pop off and juice will go everywhere. So I've heard people have that issue on the Amit. And then, you know, I've had the issue on the Kylan and not the Amit. So it, it really depends on, I guess, the atomizer that you get. All right. It's, they, 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 some are going to do it, some aren't, I guess. Who knows? I think they're both going to do it. Okay. Both have good O-rings, but I'm going to have to give it to the Amit because... They did put that channel up top to keep the glass intact and sealed. And then when you take the top off, you don't have to worry about the glass, you know, hopping around. Um, so I'm going to have to give that to the Amit. Now, as it, when it comes down to flavor and vapor production, these pretty much are the same exact thing. All right, let's have a hit on the Amit. I have it on the Revolution 3000 by Vaporized Nomads and MRN Mods. It's a DNA 250. I did a review on it. It's on my channel. 110 watts, 0.14 ohm build. These have the same build, the same cotton, same everything. Let's have a vape. Mmm. 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 Oh, man. Mmm. Really good airflow in the Amit. Really good flavor on the Amit. Now, let's do the Kylan. Now, I have vaped it in 2ML mode, so I know how it is. Both have great vape production. Both have great flavor. I don't really notice any difference in flavor or vapor production on these two, okay? But when it comes to airflow, I definitely think the Kylan has airflow a little bit better than the Amit. 
because it has individual airflow from both sides versus you can see through on the Amit. When it comes to looks, I personally like the Amit over the Kylan. Um, I think the Amit, Amit excuse me, huh, is gorgeous. I, I just love the looks of it. I love the racing stripes on it. I love the Ultim drip tip, but you can't take it out. I, I would like to use my own goons to match stuff on this. So, I mean, you can take it out, but it, it, it is a bitch to get out. So, that's going to be a con. But... I like the Kylan as well. I mean, the Kylan comes with more drip tips, has individual airflow on both sides, has a better deck, gold-plated deck, um, and it has smaller wicking channels. This one has larger wicking channels. It's going to be, I guess, if you're not an advanced vapor like myself, it's going to be easier for you to get the wicking down, possibly, possibly, on the Kylan RTA, Okay. Um, now you also have to worry about on the Kylan, if you don't have the chimney extension tube tightened down very well on the chimney when you go to unthread the top cap to fill it, the chimney can loosen up and go with it. Okay, so just be vigilant of that. It can possibly happen on the Amit as well, but I didn't really have that issue on the Amit. Okay, but they do have that piece up top that you're really not going to have to worry about. So the Amit's going to have to win it on that little nitpicking aspect. All right. You know, the funny thing is, I get awesome flavor on the extension. Just as much as I get flavor on the 3ML or the 2ML. Um, I get a little, maybe a little bit better flavor on the, you know, on the shorter extension versus the having the extension on there. But 2ML's, it goes way too fast on the Kylan. 3ML's, I like 3ML's, man. It really doesn't guzzle through the e-liquid as fast. You don't have to fill it up as much. But if you want to use the extension, they both hold 6 mLs of e-liquid. So if that's a deal breaker to you guys, you'll be fine with the extension. If you want to use it as a shorty, the Amit's going to have it beat because it has one more mL of e-liquid. These are both phenomenal RTAs. All right, they really are. You really can't go wrong with either one. You know, um, if I had to pick... If I personally had a pick, I mean, they're both great, you know? I really, I just like the looks of the Amit a little bit better than the Kylan. But the Kylan has better knurlings to grab to open the top fill and to close the airflow and all that stuff. On the Amit, it's just a little bit more difficult. I'm not saying that it is difficult, but this is easier to fill. Now, another thing about these is that when you put the chimney on, on top of the deck, they both have this, like, it barely fits. Like, it, it, it can be a little tricky to get the chimney on and off the deck to do a build or to re-wick or etc. I don't know why that is, but I can see that the gold plating is scratching on the Kylan because of taking it on and off and it's rubbing against the metal. It's a little bit too tight of a fit on both of these. I just want to mention it. Both have beautiful conical designs. Um, I think the Amit's a little bit, I think it's a little wider. I think this is 25 millimeters in diameter. This is 24 and then it goes to 26. This is 25 and then it goes to 26. So um, small thing. They both have the same build deck size, 20 millimeters in diameter. Um, they both have great flavor, great vapor production. These are both phenomenal, okay? Now, you can find the Kylan RTA at myvpro.com. I'll have the direct link in the description where you can pick this up, all right? Um, the price point on the Kylan RTA is $35. The price point on the Amit is $30. So this is $5 less expensive than the Kylan. But the Kylan gives you more options gives you more drip tips has a gold plated deck etc if you're looking to buy one of these if you have the almond already you don't need to pick up the kylan okay if you're looking at both of these and you don't know which one to grab you'll be totally fine with either one but those options might be a deal breaker to you maybe you want more drip tips maybe you want a gold plated deck maybe you want the individual airflow on both sides you know um You'd be fine with either one. These are both phenomenal, phenomenal. These are my one of my favorite RTAs of all time. I mean, of all time. These are probably my favorite RTAs of both of these. These are phenomenal RTAs. You can't go wrong with either one. If Amaga stole my book bag and I was on the train and these were in it, 
If I really had to pick, man, that's the tough thing. You know, I'd buy both. I mean, I really don't want to say one or the other because they're both equally phenomenal. That's what I got for you today, squad. I hope you found the video helpful or informative. If you learned anything or you got any great information or good information off of this review, please consider subscribing. Leave a like, share, comment down below if you have any additional questions or concerns on these RTAs or anything else for that matter. I give you content daily, 1080p, 60 frames. Don't waste your bandwidth not being subscribed to the channel. Remember, squad, stay juiced up. I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.